So if you guys want to see how I updated my phone to this purple aesthetic vibe going on here, make sure you continue watching. What is up you guys, it's Rissa and for today's video I'm going to be showing you how I customize my iOS 14. So the update has a couple of new things. So it has custom widgets and this is nothing new for you Samsung users because that has been around for a while. Um, it's new to the iPhone but yeah, custom app icons so you can change around how your um, apps will look like. So Facebook could be a picture of a coffee, Twitter could be a picture of your grandma and it just the list goes on so the next thing is an app library and this is very very helpful for people who you know want to do that app icon switch so you don't want the real app next to it because it defeats the purpose so you can basically move your apps to an app library and it hides it you have a back tap so you can basically just tap the back of your phone and it does stuff so it can like screenshot i don't know what else it can do that's what back tap is not exactly sure if I'm gonna use that option. I don't know, it might be cool to do this. I don't know if you could take a picture of people. That would be so weird. You're gonna be in class and you're gonna be like. And it also has hidden pages and hidden pages is something I'm looking forward to because you can keep the apps that you want, right? on a page and if you don't want that page to be shown you can hide it and bring it back whenever you please okay, we're gonna get into the fun part now which is customizing the two apps that you need for this to work is widget smith and shortcuts and those two you can find in the app store so you can just download that real quick so this is my home screen this is the first thing that you'll see when um i open my phone and the top of it has my battery percentage the date and the time all in one widget and that's with the app color widgets so all the apps that i mentioned will be in the description box so yeah you have widget smith shortcuts and color widgets those are the three apps that i used for this setup. You're basically going to learn how to do this and you're also just gonna like customize with me because I didn't finish. So I'm gonna show you guys the app Widget Smith first. When you go into Widget Smith, you have small widgets, medium widgets, and large widgets. Now the large widget is huge. It covers up like half of your, like the whole screen pretty much. So I like small widget more, but they're all really cool. So small widgets look like this. Um, as you can see like my Powerpuff picture, the TV picture, and the Zendaya photo, that is the small. And then if you want a medium widget, I will show you what that looks like. I can just click that and default widget and I can pick whatever I want. So let's just say I want a photo. You can select a photo and I'll just choose the 1111. I don't know, I'll just choose one. Then you click back, save. Okay, and then once you exit out of there, you're gonna hold on to your home screen. So that's also a new update. You hold it like that. Click the plus button on the top left. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click medium. Like you're gonna see the widget smith little button. So you're gonna click that, so add widget, and edit widget, medium one. So that's exactly how it is. I hope I'm explaining this correctly. I literally suck at explaining, but I hope that the video does the speaking for itself. And you can move this around. So if you want it at the bottom or at the top. And same with this small widget, you can move it to this side or the other side. I'll show you what a large widget looks like. So I'm going to do, let's see, you could do a photo, selected photo, we're gonna choose Powerpuff Girls again. Go back, save, and do the same thing. Hold plus, click the widget smith. Now we're gonna swipe to large. So don't swipe to medium, you just swipe over to large. Add widget, click that, click what you want, large one, done. And now you have a big old picture or text or whatever you want in that widget all up in your screen um also count how many times i say widget in this video because i'm probably gonna say apps icons and widgets so many times in this video but anyways so now we get into the other part which is color widgets and that's how i got my battery percentage and all that stuff in one little square color widgets 
and we're gonna set up a new one. So this is my active widget right now. So pretty much you can scroll and see a lot of different texts, fonts, um, literally whatever you want. I just click the little Powerpuff Girl. You're gonna edit widget. You can make it a small, medium, or large. So basically the same thing as Widget Smith. So I won't go through all that because you can just find what you want. So I did medium. You can make it dark, colored, light. Or you can leave it with the Powerpuff Girl, like that. Or you can put another Powerpuff Girl. So you literally put a photo behind everything. Then you can pick a font that you want. Then you set widget. And then you take it off. And that's your new widget. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I use to change my app icons. And so you wanna set up a theme, just whatever aesthetic you want find it and then we'll go from there. So we already have half of my page finished. So now I'm going to show you guys how to customize your app icons. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to Pinterest. So I like to just find a cute little purple photo. So maybe I use like a basketball. We're gonna use that for Instagram. We're gonna go to shortcuts and click the plus button up here, add action, and you'll see a bunch of different things. You'll see apps, favorites, scripting, media, whatever. You're gonna click on scripting and click open app. Once you do that, you're gonna see open and choose. So you're gonna click choose and you're gonna find the app that you want it to go to. So Instagram, and then you're gonna click the three dots. You're gonna type in Instagram, add the shortcut, add to home screen, just so you know like that's where it goes to. And then you're gonna click it again, Instagram, or you can title it whatever you want. Then you're gonna click the picture on the left, choose photo and choose and add. So now it's added to the home screen so you can see it right there by Snapchat. And to hide your Instagram, this is where I um, hide it into the library. So you're gonna hold down Instagram, remove app, and then you'll see delete app, move to app library. You don't wanna delete the app, you're gonna move it to the app library. And now when you swipe all the way, you'll see all the apps that are hidden in this library. So that is pretty much how you make different app icons. It's very, very simple. So I'm gonna show you guys one more app and then I'll speed through the rest of my apps. So we're gonna find an app icon for TikTok. So we're gonna go back to Pinterest. And you don't have to use Pinterest, you can use Google, whatever you want. So for TikTok, I really wanna use this one. It says, oh sweetie, you're not ugly, society is. Because I see a lot of people on TikTok like body shaming themselves and think they're not pretty or stuff like that and I just want you know, to remind myself as well that you're not ugly society is. So open app, choose TikTok, and then three dots, TikTok, add to home screen, lowercase TikTok, choose photo, and all right, and then we're gonna add, done, and there it is. Oh, it's so cute. Home screen, we're gonna move to app library. And now we're gonna fast forward and show you guys like Twitter and Snapchat and then I'll talk to you guys in a second. So now you can see that I have TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitter updated now. And now we're gonna add another widget to make it even. So I have one, two, and then we're gonna add a third one. I don't like the Simpson, like, like uh, crop it to her, only her. And we're gonna do that so i'm gonna download this image and then i'm gonna go into my photos um so i'm gonna go ahead and crop that just so she's in it and then i'm gonna go into widget smith we're gonna add a small widget again and default we're gonna go to photo select photo we're gonna do her and then save that and then we're going to go back here hold it down Click the plus sign, medium to the left, and click add widget. Click her, so small number four. There she is, I love that. And now we're gonna move it over to the bottom corner. And now it looks like that. This looks so freaking good. I love purple aesthetic, it just looks so pretty. And the neon just, it's just coming at me. I didn't finish the third page yet, or the bottom four rows. So we're gonna move iMessage down here. We're gonna put this in the app library. 
app library. So I have exit as the iMessage because I feel like I just know what that is. This one is going to be Amazon. And then this one is the weather because like the lightning. And then the last one is the money, which is PayPal. So for hidden pages, you just hold down on your home screen. Then you click, click all the dots at the bottom. And then now you can see all four pages are being shown. So you're gonna just press the check, the check, and now they're hidden. You can click done. So now when I'm swiping, you just see these two and then the app library. You won't see those other pages that I didn't finish yet. So now that we're done setting up my phone, now we can just have a look at what I did. So I have a widget at the top, then I have photos, camera settings, FaceTime, all the other stuff, and I put a widget of Zendaya in the corner because I feel like it just matches Euphoria, the, the vibe, everything is there, so I have her there. You swipe over and now you see three widgets again, which is a television, Powerpuff Girl, and Lisa Simpson. So I think this is a really, really cool setup. I'm loving this vibe that I'm going for on my phone. Also another thing with these app icons, when you click each one, it'll quickly go to the shortcut and then it'll go right into the app because at first I was kind of like, that's annoying, you know, like that one second, it gets annoying, okay? You have to admit, you don't really care sometimes because the way your phone is set up, it's worth it. Another thing that I wish, um, it didn't have was the widgets like it has widget smith color widgets underneath the photo i wish it just didn't have that and it just had the picture i think that would be a really really cool update if apple did another update in like the next few weeks and it just took those off of there like it's an option to leave it other than that it's not that big of a deal so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give a thumbs up comment down below if you already started setting up your phone and also maybe dm me a picture of your lock screen and home screen i would love to see how you set up your phone so yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i will talk to you in my next video Bye. Yeah.